Our lives are a series of mistakes and successes. Some mistakes, though, are so bad that they're really hard to overlook. For me, it was putting all of our electronics in our living room smack up against a radiator. I didn't think too much of this until at the end of the winter, I looked at the back of the printer and to my astonishment, it was melted unlike anything I'd ever seen before. So I went to work this winter measuring up the radiator to create a shroud to protect the electronics. I could have used small fans like computer fans to move the air, but I wanted something that didn't involve moving parts. See, the radiator pulls cold air into the bottom, exhausting it at the top. By putting a shroud over it, we can move this hot air upward and away from the electronics until it's exhausted out the top of the shroud. This is called natural convection. I got some aluminum flashing, a rivet gun, a sheet metal shears, and of course a drill and drill bit. Flashing ended up being incredibly inexpensive, which is why I used it for this project. I also liked that it was thin enough that I could just cut it with a shears, which didn't require, you know, heavy tools. Basically, it cut me away from my hacksaw. You'll see I also used my brake in this video. If you want to see how I made that, go back a few videos and, and you'll find it somewhere. Although I had drawn this up in SketchUp beforehand, I was still kind of relying on planning it out as I went along. Eventually I realized I had to make some small bends that I couldn't make with the brake. I initially tried to do this by bending it around a metal ruler. This didn't work very well, so I took some blocks of wood, screwed them together, placed it over the flashing, and then bent it. This kind of worked, but once again, it wasn't ideal. Either way, these bends came out okay. This project ended up being a big learning experience for me because I had never used things like a sheet metal shears or pop rivets that much. Overall, it, it came out pretty well, but as you'll see in a minute, there was another mistake coming up. You also have to be really careful when cutting sheet metal. I probably should be wearing gloves because you can cut yourself very easily on these sharp edges. Since this is gonna be placed behind furniture, I'm not too worried about people cutting themselves on it. Uh, if you have it out in the open, obviously that could be a concern. It was always exciting when I got to the point where I would pop rivet together because you could really see the thing coming together. So I finished up one of these shrouds and placed it over the radiator. However, I immediately realized I had made a critical mistake. See, I had based the design on another radiator in our house that was easier to get to, but the actual radiator was quite different. Both cool, pull cold air into the bottom, but the original exhausted it at an angle out of the top, which meant the shroud could be placed directly on top of it while the actual radiator exhausted it straight out the side, which meant we had to move it outward a little bit so that the hot air could escape up the shroud. At this point, I was pretty discouraged, so I set it aside for the weekend and came back to it when I was more fresh. I determined that I would have to move the furniture out by three quarters of an inch to provide the required clearance for the hot air escaping from it. I didn't want to make that gap too small because I was worried about the shroud becoming too hot. So I went back to the drawing board and cut out 
this entirely new design. The flashing is interesting because it's all rolled up when you buy it. Uh, however, when you begin to bend across the curve, it becomes very rigid and straight. The tricky part is if you're bending parallel to the curve, sometimes it's hard to keep it straight. However, I found once everything was riveted together, the whole structure held itself straight pretty well. I did all of the cuts and drilled all of the holes in this front shroud before I bent it. This made it a lot easier to assemble after it was bent. The angles on the front of the shroud were a little tricky because they aren't perfect 90 degree angles. So sometimes even after you would bend it, you kind of had to bend it back just a little bit by laying it flat on the table and running your finger along it. For this shroud, I purchased a small vice grip sheet metal tool. This made it very easy to bend the small tabs on the sides of the shroud. Much better than my blocks of wood and far, far better than using a ruler. I would highly recommend one of these tools if you're doing any sort of small sheet metal work like this. For the rivets, you want to drill a hole just slightly larger than the outer diameter of the rivet. Don't go much larger. I made this mistake on one of the shrouds and I had to redrill all the holes because the rivets just wouldn't hold in the hole. The new shroud fit over the radiator perfectly, and so at this point, I set about making four more of them. This is always the most demoralizing part of projects like this. When you make the first one, you're all fresh and you really enjoy it, and then you realize you have to make multiple copies of the same thing. However, I did get much faster at each of these. The final one required that I indent it on the side to allow room for the outlet. For this, I had to bend another angle on the edge of it. I also had to cut another small piece for below the outlet. This just got riveted on to the existing two pieces for the shroud. The five shrouds didn't come out perfect, but then again, all they need to do is sit behind my TV and direct the air up above the radiator. To tame the mess of cords behind the TV, I used some small hooks to get the cords up and off of the radiator. After you place the shrouds in place, they might not all line up, but I found a really cool way of connecting them. You just take a paper clip and clip each shroud to the next one. To see if the shrouds worked, I turned the heat up in the room and let it set for 15 minutes. I measured the air temperature leaving the top of the shroud at just over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and below the printer, it was only 75 degrees.
If you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna have new stuff coming out in the future. And you can also check out last week's video. I will see you guys next week. That's it.